Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Holy Club, and our scriptures from Hebrews chapter 4 and Revelation chapter 1. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. And then John's revelation. He held seven stars in his right hand, and a sharp two-edged sword came from his mouth, and his face was like the sun in all its brilliance. It's commonly thought that in a ministry spanning more than 60 years, John Wesley rode over 250,000 miles, preaching some 40,000 times. One of the formative influences on that ministry was the Holy Club. In 1729, young John Wesley began attending Oxford University, meeting together with several like-minded students, including his brother Charles. The Holy Club was a name given to mock the group by students who viewed their efforts at holy living with less than admiration. Nonetheless, the name remains after nearly 300 years, identifying the goal of inviting God to direct every step of seriously God-binded people. The published sermons of John Wesley testify to the fruit of such devotion. I've read a fair number of those sermons, and the one undeniable mark of that fruit is how the sermons are constantly laced with full quotations of Scripture, and even more, bits and pieces of scriptural reference piled high in evidence of the theses of those sermons. Wesley's high view of Scripture cannot be missed. Here's his testimony of that indisputable fact from his own pen. I want to know one thing the way to heaven, how to land safely on that happy shore. God himself has condescended to teach me the way. For this very end he came from heaven. He hath written it down in a book. Oh, give me that book. At any price, give me the book of God. I have it. Here is knowledge enough for me. Let me be homo unius libri. Here then I am, far away from the busy ways of men. I sit down alone, only God is here. In his presence I open, I read his book, for this end, to find the way to heaven. The mandate of the Holy Club was for those who inhabit the space to hang out with those who believe and behave, because God's word is true. If the members of that first club achieved that goal to any measure, it stands as a model for Methodists or Christians of any ilk to remember that often and strive for the matching of living with what the Word of God proclaims. For you today, it isn't the objective of God to get Christians to a church building once a week or even ten times a week to park themselves in a pew and hear the word and study the word and then go have lunch and a nap. The whole purpose of studying and learning is doing. So, let's let Jesus' brother James have the last word on this. James 1.22 Don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourselves. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.